Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. Do you find that expired listings are sellers saying I give up? I think so. What's an expired listing? Well, you have a listing agreement with an agent or broker for a certain defined period of time. You're going to list your home for 60 days, 90 days, six months. At the end of that term, you can choose to extend the listing or just let it expire. And we saw in the past week, or actually the last week of the year, 2,332 listings expire. That's a huge spike. The last time we saw a big spike, it was 770. 2,300 sellers said, well, I gave it the good old college try, but I give up. Now, it's interesting to look at some of the details behind those numbers. Because today we have 16,281 homes on the market, active listings. We had 2,081 new listings come on the past seven days, which is 400 more than the week before. Week before was the week before Christmas, New Year, so you're not going to get many there. We had 1,659 homes go under contract. That will spike up back to around 2,200 where it's been hanging. But the story is in active listings and what people are doing with their pricing. So you can see that our listings went down in December at a faster rate than previous years. Now, back to last year, we only had 5,700 homes, and this year we're at 15,731. That's as of Saturday night, but today we're at 16,281. But the list pricing is what's interesting. You can see here that the list pricing started coming down and then it just stayed flat. And that price changes and price reductions, let me get my mouse to work here. It's giving me a fit. Um, we're pretty aggressive starting in July and peaked in October, but then the price reduction started to subside. Well, what does that mean? Well, that can mean a lot of different things, but one of the things it means is a lot of the people were staying put on their prices so they could offer buyers concessions. I'm going to buy down their interest rate. I'm going to help pay for their closing costs, providing I can get my price. So when that didn't happen, they just let the listing expire now. The prices stayed flat. Now we're getting into January. What What's going to happen? Well, everybody's watching to see what's going to happen in inventory. If we've been at 20000 before this year. Will we get back up to 20000 I think that's a safe bet. But our sales have been running about 2200 to 2400 over a seven-day period. Is that going to increase or decrease? Well, all money is on interest rates. And here they are at a national average of 6.54. You can get one for six and an eighth. Um, some of the new builds are all down to 4.99, so they're doing okay. But uh, the resale market is uh, is struggling, and a lot of sellers are not willing to go down because, you know, they don't they don't have to sell. And a lot of buyers right now just don't want to offer the price that's being presented to them. And it's it's ironic they don't even want to offer them even if it's a good price. You walk in, goes a great price. Well, I don't want to pay that. No, it's 375. I'm going to offer them 360. Everybody's ignoring the listing price. So if you're going to list your home, just keep that in mind. Everybody's going to ignore your list price. So maybe price a little bit higher and see how they pull you down. Um, I've seen a few examples where people listed very low and people bid them up, but you have to be painstakingly low uh, for that to work in your favor. So there's a lot of different strategies out there. Also, do some self-reflecting. Reflecting. If you, uh, if your house expired, it's it's uh, it's probably presentation presentation by both the agent and by you. How does the house look? I went into one this week, and I got to tell you, it's the dirtiest house I've ever seen in my life. Love the dog. Don't get me wrong. The dog was in a huge cage in the kitchen, friendly as all get out. But there was dirt everywhere. I don't think they even know that Windex existed. Get up in the master bedroom where the light bulbs are above the vanity. Half of them are burned out. The rest are caked with dust that's practically going to start a fire. And the shower was just nothing but scale. Even the shower heads just had calcium dripping off of them. So they're not going to get $399. Not a chance. So it's not always the agent's fault. Although in this case, I think the agent should have said, we have a lot of work to do before we list this home. Don't take on a listing if it's that bad. So that one's going to expire. Because they're probably dug in and saying, well, I'm not going to take any less than 389 Well, you're not even going to stand a chance of getting that, my friend. So there's a lot of that going on in the market. So what we're going to watch going ahead now is the velocity of how fast new listings come on. 
I don't expect it's going to be a huge spike. It might be on week three. We might be surprised and get up to 20,000 again. But I don't know after that because I don't know what I don't know. And we want to see if sales follow. I don't expect sales to increase until interest rates come down. So if the gap of listings versus contracts continues to grow, then there's going to have to be more price reductions. Will there be more expireds? I doubt if we're going to see an expired spike like we did this just because it's the end of the year. Some people were probably trying to get it closed before the end of the year for tax purposes, and they'll give it another run next year. It, who knows? But I just thought that was a very interesting number. Do me a favor. Smash that like button. Take care.